Gaming Bolt presents 15 things you need to know before you buy the Nintendo Switch. We have a lot to cover here, so let's get on with it right away. Nintendo Switch will have paid online after a free trial. The era of free online play on consoles is over. Nintendo are apparently bringing a suite of fully featured online services to the Switch. Nintendo Switch will have paid online services. To be clear, this won't be true right away. You'll be able to play online for free until fall 2017, at which point you have to switch to paying for online. Services such as online gameplay, exclusive deals, and online lobbies will be gated behind the fee. Another thing that Nintendo did share was that the full suite of their online services will be entirely compatible with smartphones. They discussed looking up games online and jumping in directly with smartphones. Free monthly games for subscribers Just like Sony's PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live Gold, subscribers on the Nintendo Network will get to download and play an SNES or NES game with newly added online play for free for a month. Price Tag the Switch will sell for $299 in the US or 30,000 yen in Japan and at prices suggested by retailers in Europe. This is actually at the higher end since most rumors pointed at a launch price of $249 at most. The Switch will be launching on March 3, 2017 in North America, Europe, Japan, Hong Kong, and other territories. This is actually far earlier than anticipated since the leaks all pointed to March 17th as the release date. This will also be the first Nintendo system ever to launch worldwide simultaneously. Battery life and internal memory. Battery life can last for more than six hours, but will vary depending on the software and usage conditions. For example, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild can be played for roughly three hours on a single charge. There's also 32 GB of internal memory, a portion of which is reserved for use by the system. Users can easily expand storage space, however, using micro SDXC cards. Joy-Con it turned out Nintendo were hiding some features for the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons after all. In the Switch conference, they spent an excruciating amount of time going through each feature the Joy-Con has. In a far too cringe-inducing manner, the Joy-Cons have an NFC reader. This allows Amiibo data to be read. It also has a capture button, which will allow you to take screen caps and video captures. Furthermore, the controller comes packed in with an accelerometer and gyroscope a new vibration technology called HD Rumble with varying amounts of haptic feedback and a depth sensing camera. Different playstyles. The Nintendo Switch is a thoroughly versatile system. Whatever other faults it might have, it can do a whole lot of things in a whole lot of situations. There are of course the two obvious configurations. You could play it as a home console when it's docked and you could play it as a handheld when it's undocked. There is, however, also a third configuration that gives rise to some rather interesting gameplay possibilities. This is when the Switch acts as the primary screen and each Joy-Con separates into an independent controller, which can then either be used by one player for a game, like a Wii Remote Nunchuck setup, or be split among different players for local multiplayer right out of the box without even needing a TV. Theoretically, in this mode, the Switch can pair up with up to seven other Switch systems, leading many players playing at once locally, which honestly sounds like a blast. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, one of the most anticipated games of 2017, will indeed be a launch title for the Nintendo Switch. Yes, on March 3rd, it launches right alongside the Switch, already giving it a better launch lineup than the Wii U or 3DS ever had. Furthermore, the game runs at 900p while in dock mode and 720p while in portable mode. And according to reports, it looks gorgeous in portable mode. Nintendo also announced two special editions for Breath of the Wild, namely the Special Edition at $99.99 and Master Edition for $129.99, each with their own set of goodies. No more region locking. Nintendo have finally confirmed that the Switch will not be region locked, making it their very first home console ever that is not region locked, breaking a 30-year-old tradition. This is also the first Nintendo handheld since the DSi that will be region free. The DSi and 3DS both shifted to a region locked model. This is something that has been discussed for a very long time, but it's never actually been officially confirmed by Nintendo. This is good news since it makes importing all that much easier. Nintendo systems get a lot of Japanese games and software, so this should make them an easier sell for people who like those games, but are usually hesitant to pick Nintendo systems up because of the barriers to entry post. Accessories Price Nintendo spent quite a bit of time going into detail regarding the Switch's controller, namely the slide-on Joy-Con that can either attach to the sides of the screen or detach and act as smaller motion controllers. All that technology isn't cheap though. According to Nintendo's site, a single Joy-Con controller will cost $50. It would be cheaper to go for a pair at $80, but that's still a fairly steep price, even if each Joy-Con is a standalone controller. The Switch Pro Controller, a proper gamepad of sorts for playing at home with, is also pretty costly at $70. If that weren't enough, the Switch Dock is for $90. Furthermore, the Joy-Con Charging Grip and Joy-Con Wheel will cost $30 and $15 respectively. The message is pretty clear. 
don't break any of this stuff if you can help it. Game prices will start from $49.99. A good many details were missing during Nintendo's presentation for Switch. We know that the Switch will cost $299.99 and release on March 3rd worldwide, but how much will its games cost? If you thought some games looked much more valuable than others, then you're probably right. 1-2 Switch, for example, will cost $49.99. However, bigger games like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and ARMS will all cost $59.99, which is the normal price for games nowadays. Screen Details and Audio Output The Nintendo Switch's 6.2-inch multi-touch capacitive touchscreen can display a resolution of 1280x720 pixels. The console's TV mode supports 5.1 channel surround sound. Using the system's built-in audio jack, stereo speakers or headphones can be used when playing in handheld or tabletop modes. Inside the Box the box that comes with the console itself will consist of two Joy-Con controllers, the console itself, of course, two Joy-Con wrist straps, the full Joy-Con dock, the console dock, an HDMI cable, and an AC adapter. Furthermore, buyers can choose between the normal black-gray controllers and ones that come in red and blue. Nothing too shocking, but it's definitely good to know that the console comes with an AC adapter, after the new 3DS neglected to include one, even in the US. Voice Chat App Nintendo's dedicated smart device app will connect to Nintendo's Switch and let you invite friends to play online, set play appointments, and chat with friends during online matches and compatible games, all from your smart device. A free limited version of this app will be available for download in summer 2017. USB Type-C Nintendo Switch will feature a USB Type-C port for charging. In simpler terms, you could probably use your smartphone's charger adapter to charge the device. This will make life easier for those who travel a lot as they'll probably have their smartphone around, further improving their on-the-go gameplay experience. New Mario Game Incoming Nintendo debuts a brand new open world 3D Mario game. And when I say open world, I mean open world. We're going full Mario meets Grand Theft Auto with this game here. The game looks absolutely amazing, adding a repertoire of parkour-based moves to Mario, the likes of which he's never seen before. Graphically, Nintendo's amazing Pixar art style shone and came to life. This is the kind of Mario game that would have sold the Wii U had it ever been made available for the system. Nintendo conceded that this is their first big Mario game since Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube, so again, this is a return to a style of gameplay that fans have been clamoring for for over a decade now. Thankfully, they won't have to wait long. Super Mario Odyssey will launch exclusively on the Nintendo Switch this fall. Are you planning to buy the Nintendo Switch? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like what we're doing, please subscribe. In the meantime, we'll see you next time.